Today is a sad, sad video, my friends. An extremely sad video. And I'm about to tell you why. So, <clears throat> I'm guessing you all most likely know exactly what this video is about. Um, it is not a video that I want to make or something that I want to do. But, unfortunately, um, times are tight and I have to sell the Grom. Which is a very painful thing to say because as I've said many, many, many times, the Grom is one of my favorite bikes ever. I absolutely love the Grom. Uh, it is the most fun motorcycle I've ever ridden. Um, you can just do so much dumb shit with it that it's just, it, it just puts a smile on your face. Any any time you get on it, um, but for those of you who follow my um, Instagram and Facebook pages, um, Instagram ZJ Moto Vlogs um, and Facebook ZJ Moto Vlogs, you will know that um, recently I posted a picture of my dog. He uh, decided that it would be a good idea to uh, try and fuck up a porcupine, and obviously um, it didn't go as he planned. Uh, but it happened about 11 o'clock at night. We uh, he had I think it was like 56, 57 quills. Um, in his tongue, under his tongue, on the roof of his mouth, in his face, one almost inside of his eye, all over his nose, in the back of his in the back of his mouth, um, he got pretty messed up. Um, and of course, this happened at 11 o'clock at night. So we had to go to um, an emergency veterinarian hospital, and it ended up costing us about $3,500, um, which. Here we are, selling the Grom. Um, we do not have that kind of money just to throw around. Uh, I did used to make a good amount of money on YouTube uh, monthly. I don't make really anything anymore with all the changes that have gone on. My views have fallen through the floor. Um, and that's really how I got the Grom. Um, I was able to justify buying the Grom because it never really came out of our actual budget. It came out of YouTube money. Um, so it was never really something that like I even really needed to think about. Hey, speaking of a Grom, there's a Grom right there. Hmm. Irony. Wow, that sucks. But um so yeah, uh obviously I mean we pay like a hundred bucks a month and like thirty bucks a month in insurance. So it wasn't anything that like nothing was like it wasn't like really making life hard once YouTube revenue fell through the floor. But um, now that we have to pay this extremely large sum of money um, on a whim, uh, it's just something that I have to do. I'm not even remotely happy about it, guys. I am. It almost brought me to tears thinking about selling this bike. Uh, but I mean, unfortunately, it's 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 the only thing that I could do to kind of recoup this money quickly. And I mean, and on top of 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 the thing that happened with the dog uh, costing us a lot of money I mean just normal things here and there like $400 for the tires for this bike that I just had to buy um, I just had to to get two credit cards to pay for the dog um, and now I am also going to be driving again I'm going to be driving for Lyft again every Friday and Saturday for the foreseeable future um, so right now, it's not a very good time for me right now. It's it's not a very good time at all. Um, but you know, this is what happens when you're an adult. You have to do. You have to. I mean, you have to. You have to fucking do what you have to do to to make sure that you're good and you can take care of things and pay your bills and make sure that you got your fucking life in order. I mean, it sucks. It really does. I mean, it's, I'm not gonna sit here and act like, oh my god, I have it so bad. I have to sell one of my three bikes. Like. Yeah, it really fucking sucks, and I'm really bummed about it. But, I mean, it gets rid of a monthly payment. I'll be able to make a little bit um, on top of it. Um, 
I already did post it on Craigslist, but I wanted to tell you guys, just in case some of you guys um, would be interested in the bike, I ideally would like to get three for it. Obviously, I know it's a 2014. It's got 5,600 miles on it, um, and MSRP is like $3,299 for a brand new one. But it does have like a seven, eight hundred dollar exhaust on it. It's got the uh, TSC Industries integrated tail light, fender eliminator. Uh, it's got the fucking um, flush mounts up in the front from TSC Industries, Renthal bar, uh, lower gold bars that match the forks, and then the uh, the ram mounts. I mean, there's there's a lot of money in it. Um, and like I, I know, I know, I know how it works. You don't typically make your money back on it, but at the same time, I still owe eighteen hundred dollars on it. So I mean, I want to be able to make something, which is the reason I'm selling it. I want to make money so I can pay some of this shit off um, with the dog and whatnot, and get all these fucking these two credit cards that I had to get, get them gone so they're not just destroying my credit. Um, so. I don't know. I, I throw it out there to you guys. Um, it sucks, and a Harley guy just waves. So you know what? It can't be too bad of a day. But, I mean, it, it sucks. I mean, I know a lot of you guys who've watched the channel for a while. Um, the Grom videos are some of the most liked videos on my channel. Um, I'm definitely a different person on the Grom. I have so much more fun. But, like I said, you got to do what you got to do. And, hey, maybe in a couple years down the line, I'll end up getting me another one or getting a Z125 or something. And... And we'll be able to do that again. But um, as of right now, the Grom, unfortunately, is for sale. Um, this isn't like Chase where he said it's for sale, but he's thinking about it. This is this is actually happening. Uh, I'm actually selling it. Um, God, it fucking sucks to even say that. But hey, Pup's part of the family. I guess so is the Grom, but... I don't know, it just sucks. I mean, it was, it was cool because, I mean, before my wife got sick, she learned how to ride a motorcycle on the Grom, and it was cool. Like, we didn't ride a ton together, but we still kind of, I was able to kind of bring her into my world when it comes to motorcycles so she could kind of get a glimpse. Obviously, she doesn't feel the same about riding as I do, but I was able to kind of give her a glimpse into the world that I am so involved with and that really consumes my life outside of my marriage and work, so... I don't know. There's a there's a lot of sentimental things with that bike, but I mean it's it's the only uh, it's the only option right now. So if you guys are interested, shoot me an email to uh, zjmotovlogs at gmail.com. Just zjmotovlogs at gmail.com. Um, and I mean, if you live in the area, you, we can meet up. You can uh, you can check it out. Um, shit, if you, if you if you're a subscriber and you buy it, I'll throw in some stickers for you too. But um, yeah, guys. It sucks, and I hate to I hate to be the one to to bring on this bad news. But who else is gonna do it? It's my bike, right? <laughs> so hate that I had to make this video. Um, but hey, I would really, really, really much rather sell the bike to one of you guys who've been who watch the channel, support the channel, and seen the bike. And I think it'd be really cool to be able to sell it to one of you guys if you guys are in the market uh, and can and can swing it. But um. Yeah, guys, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope tomorrow or uh, Thursday's video is a little bit more upbeat and more fun, but uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> all right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and if you are new, subscribe, all right? Have a good one, guys. Peace.